I have been thinking a lot about strange concepts or like concepts that'll fuck you up or like the concepts that'll mess you up. I've been thinking about them a lot and they definitely do mess me up. So I'm just gonna get right on into it. Um, I've never watched one of these videos besides one like forever ago and I don't even now that I'm like really trying to think about it, I don't remember what concepts even were in that video. It's been so long, but um, I've kind of been keeping like a mental list of a few of them. So I'm gonna talk about it. My dogs are looking at me like, what is this bitch doing? Like talking to a camera? Who is she? We don't know her. <laughs> the first weird concept, this is one that I've been thinking about a lot lately. Neighborhoods or like apartment buildings or anything where a bunch of people live in like one area. I can see like nine people's backyards just from my backyard and that's not including my backyard. It's just so weird to me that 10 different families or like 10 different, I don't know, like what else you can call it, 10 different couples or whatever are living so close to me. When you drive down a street at night and you know that there are people sleep at home most likely right every house you pass you can think to yourself wow there are people in there even though you don't see them they're going about their daily lives totally apart from you and I feel like this now that I'm saying it out loud it sounds really stupid but it messes with me in my apartment whenever I would hear like someone walking above me I was like oh yeah someone else lives there and I don't even know who they are but they live up there every night when I go to bed they're most likely in bed or just a few feet above me and I don't even know who it is and I can't even see them but they're so close to me like I don't and it's, it's just so weird for me to think like we're so close, yet all going about our own lives in a very close environment. I don't know. But I've just always been like, oh wow, how weird is it that like a whole family and their whole like world, not their whole world, but you know what I mean? Like where they live and where they dwell is right there. It fucks with me. I don't know. I'm so weird, I'm sorry. But yeah, that's the first weird concept that actually fucks my brain up. The second is, I feel like this is a very common one that literally everyone will be able to relate to because I don't know anyone that can't relate to this. Whenever I think about how huge the universe is, I genuinely get messed up. Cause it's mind boggling. Like if you watch any of those videos that show the scale of the universe, you'll see that you can fit every other planet in our solar system between us and the moon, like all lined up. That's how far our moon is. Think about how how much fucking distance is between us and all the planets in our solar system. How far we really are from our sun, which we literally wouldn't be able to live without. Just the scale of everything really and truly fucks me up. And how our sun to us is just fucking humongous. It's like, I don't even know how many times the size of the earth, an unthinkable amount. And the fact that compared to a lot of other stars, our sun is like a grain of sand. That's how big some stars are. And when we look up into the night sky, we only see stars in like our tiny little neighborhood of the Milky Way and the Milky Way is humongous and that's just our galaxy and really far away from our galaxy are a shit ton of other galaxies you just think of really and truly like how huge the universe is it fucks with me and if it doesn't fuck with you how does that not fuck with you and this one I actually just remembered from the weird concepts video that I watched that I thought I didn't remember anything from but it just kind of like went off in my head like a light bulb and that is the whole color thing <laughs> I love how I just say the whole color thing and I expect everyone to know what I'm talking about. Like, okay, see, my wall behind me is red, right? These letters are white. What if, to you, red is what I see as blue? Does that make sense? Like, when I look at the sky, I see blue. Maybe when you look up at the sky, you see what we know as blue, but maybe blue looks like this red because that's what you have seen as blue your whole life. We know when we see a certain color, or when we see what we know is blue, that it's blue. But maybe we're each actually seeing a different thing. I don't mean each of us, but I mean like some people might see color a certain way. It might be random. Whoa, green looks green to me. And that's what looks normal to me. And so I try to think, well, what if someone saw purple instead of green? So like grass is all purple. The fucking trees are purple. To me, that would look so weird because purple doesn't belong. I'm looking at my backyard right now. So that's why I'm like gesturing. If my grass was all purple and my fucking tree, well, trees, there's so many trees in my backyard. If they all had purple leaves, that would look so fucking weird. Weird because to me the shade that I know as purple would look so weird there But maybe to you purple my purple your green looks normal like what if green to you is purple am I making sense? 
because it fucks me up so bad because to you it would look so normal and that's all you've ever known and all you ever will know maybe the way that I see colors if any of you saw the colors in the same I don't know how to describe it but if you saw colors the same way I did maybe it would look fucking insane to you and it would look like you're having a horrible acid trip it fucks with me I'm actually like genuinely stressed right now because what the hell could you imagine and the thing is there's no way to prove it how would we ever know for sure Sure, if this is actually a thing and we see colors differently, we could all see colors the same and maybe I'm just a fucking wacko, kooky, crazy fucking idiot. But what if we all see colors differently, but we're just used to it and it's not weird because it's all we've ever known and we have no way to prove it. Because watch, okay, this is my red. I mean, this is red to you too, but maybe I'm seeing red to me and you're seeing green to me. Does that make sense? How would we prove that we're seeing a different shade for what we know to be the same color? And even if I were to try to explain the color red to you, it would still look like red to you because no matter how I describe red, it's gonna make sense to you even if you're seeing my green. I literally don't even know how to like conclude the whole color shit that I just mentioned because my mind is like legitimately fucked. The next one is the concept of time and history. They're both man-made constructs. Like, <laughs> I love how I'm just sitting here in silence like I'm, I'm really thinking. You know, think about history. No other species cares about history. No other species gives a shit about time. And by time, I mean like hour of the day. You know, time passing. My dog just coughed. The next one that really fucks me up, and I feel like this is so elementary and I feel like everyone has thought about this before, but it really fucks me up. Airplanes. I, mmm, uh, I don't like airplanes. It's not for any reason other than I get really bored on them and I just hate flying because it's uncomfortable. The time passes so slowly when you're on an airplane and it's just not fun. But when you really think about it, you're in a flying tube going through the sky for hundreds or thousands of miles. Like, I know you can look out of a window and you, you know how high up you are, but you're just really, really high up above ground. It's like unfathomable almost to like really think about the fact that you're just thousands of feet up in the air in a flying tube. Like does that not fuck with anyone else? It scares the shit out of me sometimes to think about it. We're all in this confined space together and we're just flying through the air really quick and really high in the sky. I don't know. It, it kind of like makes me more nervous to fly again and I am going on a plane very soon. So that's great. The next one that really fucks with me, tornadoes and hurricanes. I know they're a natural phenomenon and there's scientific explanations for them, but it's still, like, it's so weird to me. I've never seen a tornado in person, thank goodness, but I don't get how just... Doesn't make sense to me. Those were just a few that I come up came up with, uh, and I thought I would share. Especially like the neighborhood one. It's just been like really weighing on my mind lately. I don't know why. But yeah, that is all from me. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.